Hey, what's up you guys? It's Liv, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video for my 31 days of October. Um, so, I was on Amazon, and I was just kind of like surfing around the internet, and I started finding all like these Halloween tattoo sets. So, I think I'm going to give them all a try because I feel like every day I'm always, well, not every day, but like when I see those makeup tattoo things, I'm always like, do these things like really work or are they going to come out looking like, you know, poop or are they going to be bomb? Like, I always see those eyeliner ones and I'm like, wouldn't it be so easy if I could just, anyway, um, so I'm going to do like this little, not like series, it's just going to be part of my 31 days of October, but I'm going to be like trying out really cool like Halloween things that I've found. It's not all going to be makeup tutorials, it's going to be some cool stuff I find, you know, like fall related stuff, but if you're here and you're watching, thanks for keeping up with my videos if you're keeping up with them. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm Liv and I like makeup and shit. Okay, so I found this Day of the Dead tattoo thing and I was like, wow, this would be great because I have so many friends that are like, I don't know how to do makeup, but I like to look cool, so I was like, oh, let me give it a whirl. So, this was like eight fifty, I think. We'll round up, we'll say like $9. And you get two sets of these like pages of tattoos in here. So, it's about like four fifty per tattoo page. The only thing that kind of threw me through a loop is like, I thought when I got it, it was going to be like a sheet mask. And I was just going to slap this thing on my face and then put it all over it. But it looks like you actually have to cut out the pieces and then kind of like line them up to your face. So I'm a little bit nervous about that because I feel like I'm going to end up like really effing it up. Effing. Like I'm going to get one eye like up here and one down there. And I don't know how I'm feeling about these you guys. I'm like I want it to work. And like I feel like there's a good chance it's going to work. But I'm like skeptical. Because it just seems like a little bit too good to be true, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. So, looks like I gotta cut all these out. I'm gonna go ahead and. I had a headband. I'm gonna pull up the hair, get this mop out of the way. I probably don't need the headband. I'm probably good without the headband. My hair is being like extra wild today, and it's all faded. I need to like touch it up. <sighs> Hoping that my camera will last long enough through this. Wait, what? They put this like, they put this stuff like so close together. Wow, I can already see I'm gonna mess this up. I'm really hoping I don't though. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna pause the camera and come back after I cut this out. Cause this, look at how like, can you see how close together these pieces are right now? And I have to like cut around everything. So this is gonna take a hot minute. All right, I'm back and I have my little towel and my pieces are all cut out. I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, that was really hard. Like, that took like 25 minutes, and it was super stressful because, like, they were so close together. I just kept feeling like I was gonna, like, really mess it up bad. So, let's give this a whirl. I'm a little bit nervous now because I, like, read over the instructions as I was cutting because it took forever, and it didn't have any removal instructions. None. So, if I'm permanently skull-faced, like, now you know. You know why. Okay. Wait, I don't really know how I'm supposed to do the... This seemed so good. Alright, I'm gonna do an easier piece first. I'm gonna cut it some slack. I'm not wearing any other makeup because I just don't really see the point in it. Because you're putting water on your face, so it would just come off, right? We have peeled off the plastic. Okay, alright. Oh. Oh my god, my head is too... My head is too small! This is the struggle of my whole life. Alright, so I'm just starting. I'm just going for it. I feel like I didn't make this towel wet enough. This is gonna be a really shitty tattoo, I can feel it. I used to be like the temporary tattoo master when I was younger, because I love tattoos. My mom hates them. I remember she would always be like, don't put it anywhere anyone can see it. 
Like, what? That's the whole point. I think she just didn't like when they started to fade off. And you would have, like, that weird left behindness. So, so far, it's just feeling like a regular tattoo. Like, you know. I probably should have cut out, like, these roses on the side. So, if you're trying this at home, word to the wise. Take the extra time. But for real, though, if you are looking for something quick and easy, this is not it. Like... This is not quick. I really just want to make sure I have it all saturated. I'm so scared to like start peeling it off. Because it doesn't even feel like it should be peeled off yet. You know like sometimes the edges start to lift up a little bit when it's fully transferred. No. See this is not... <sighs> Any more water! I'm back and I like fully saturated this whole tattoo so... Let's see what the deal is. This rose is like not sticking. I don't know if it's because it's kind of in my hairline. Or what's up? Oh. This rose came off. Now I'm like. I definitely want to get this one off. I'm over here. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to cut it some slack because it is kind of in my hair. Oh, I'm ripping it. Where is my... Boom! Hell yeah! I don't know how the eye one's gonna work. I'm feeling a little skeptical about that one right now. Okay, so this one is supposed to go just like... Right in the middle of my face. I'm gonna have this plastic shit all over my room. Alright. Come on, tattoo! Oh... I think I put this one on really bad. Oh, see, yeah, I totally fucked this one up. It was all going so well. Yeah, okay, so when you do the nose one, don't put it on like this. This is so weird. You know what, that actually came out, like, way better than I anticipated it. To be honest, if the nose were in the middle, I'd be so down with this. But this is really like conflicting because if I wore this out, I would want to have on foundation because you can still see like my acne in between all of this nonsense. So I'm a little conflicted with it. I think this would be good for kids. I would love to have this on when I was younger and like I would hate sitting through getting my makeup done. So this would have been perfect for me. I remember Halloween when I was five was the first time I ever wore fake lashes and my sister was like ready to kill me because it kept being like really bad and she was trying to put everything on. So much homework to do, it's not even funny. And this is what I'm doing instead. I'm encountering my first issue. My face is too small. So on second thought, don't get this for a kid. Alright, and now I'm a Day of the Dead person. I mean, I thought this was pretty cool. I think it worked. What do you guys think? I think it works. It may not be the coolest ever, but like, if you're really bad at makeup, I'd go for it. I feel like if you looked all like cute and you put this on and it's like all glittery, it'd be popping. It would happen. Alright, so that is it for today's video. Tune back in tomorrow for another 31 Days of October video. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video, and I will catch you guys next time. Alright, see ya. Hopefully I won't have this skull face on.